Pittsburgh Steelers here. And good gracious, we we spent ten minutes on the Browns. That's what I'm talking about. This this is a team that that I I got. Everybody is hyping this team because Ben's back. I I don't. I'm not you hyping can get numbers them. from last year, Gary. They're they're all mythological. They're all fictional. They're all they're all fantasy. None of them well, matter. The, because yeah, the whole thing was real. the whole thing was crazy. Well, I mean, let's dive into some of those stats real quick. Uh, they they went eight and eight last year. Um, went six and two down the stretch. You know, obviously you start out two and six. That's kind of a death nail. But they, I mean, they had a shot there at the end, uh, and that is with having the number thirty yards per play offense in the NFL last year. That I have not no good. idea how they were thirty. I don't know how they were not. DFL. Dead last, uh, yeah. yeah who I don't, knows? Well, I don't prob- know. probably because of the the first two games that Big Ben actually played. I guess. I mean, no, he they were terrible in those I know, games. They I didn't know. score a point against the, the Patriots. No, you're right. I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> Joseph said she ain't the only one with one of them things. That's that. <laughs> he said, "Not that my line." That's is. Is that, the line. That's somebody that has been watching us for a little while. That's what I'm hey, talking about. Hey, listen, that's the best advice I was ever given as a young man. Yep, yep, you're right. All right, so Tomlin entering his 14th season. Again, they went number 30 in offensive yards per play last year, 4.7 yards per play. I mean, that is just atrocious. Uh, defensive yards per play, they were number three in the NFL last year, and that is how you get to 8-8 eight and eight if you ain't got an that's offense. That's the only way you do yeah. it. Uh, so the, it, also, the exact same is – 4.7 yards per play on defense, 4.7 yards per play on offense. Turnover margin. They also, miraculously, because uh, we saw how many interceptions, we saw the turnovers uh, from Duck Hodges and uh, and whoever else, right, Mason Rudolph. Turnover margin number six in the NFL last year. They gained half a turnover every week. Now, that was partly because of Minka Fitzpatrick coming in because all the sacks that they got, all the turnovers that they that they forced on defense. Um Look, after last year, they, they got to have Roethlisberger healthy. That quarterback room is a disaster behind him. Uh, you got Mason Rudolph, you got Doug Hodges, and, and you got Paxton Lynch back there somewhere, just uh, hiding in a janitor closet somewhere. Um, you got plenty of weapons, and hopefully you're going to have James Conner healthy this season. Juju Smith-Schuster, you know, if you got ben Ro- if you got somebody that can get him the ball, then he's going to be effective. But without Roethlisberger, he was nothing last year. His stats were atrocious. Um, on defense, sacks in abundance. Look, you got T.J. Watt, you got Dupree, you got Hayward, and Minka Fitzpatrick coming in from the Dolphins was an absolute perfect fit at that safety spot in Tomlin's defense. I mean, just perfect fit. You know, I, I don't think that they're going to lose a whole lot on defense. Uh, they've got 10 starters coming back, pretty damn good, and they got 10 starters coming back on offense. That includes Ben Roethlisberger coming back. So, you know, I've got them improving this year. I've got them going 10-6. and six. Uh, They are not going to be quite up to what the Ravens are. And, you know, we'll see. It, it, I, I could see the Browns, you know, taking over that second spot in this division. But uh, but I like the Steelers. You know, I, that's that's my that's my team. That's my thing. I'm a little biased. But I think 10-6 and six is reasonable. So I got that flipped and reversed. I've got them 6-10. and 10. I, I am worried about – people think Ben is the savior. Listen, the last last end of the year before that with Ben and the start of last year with Ben, Ben has lost a lot on his fastball, okay? Ben cannot make a lot of throws. Ben is a problem. Ben turns the ball over a lot. Ben holds the ball a long time, and Ben is going to get hurt again because yeah. he's just going to keep getting hit. And the defenses they're playing are just getting better and better and better. The reason I think they regress is because I think their division is better. They got to beat up on the Bengals that were a doormat, and they got to beat up on on the Browns that were a doormat, and they got to, uh, you know, usually split with the Ravens. I don't know that many people split with the Ravens anymore. Okay, so Mike can hope they can get one of those Ws, but but it'll be tough. <laughs> and and I I think the Browns and the Bengals are done being doormats. Not saying that they're going to sweep the Bengals. The Steelers are still going to win games. But their schedule is not tough, uh, not easy either. Agreed. And 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 I, I I don't worry about the defense. I think the defense is good. But at some point in time, I do think that defense is going to get fatigued. You can't be on the field as long as they've been on the field. Um, problem with Juju. I, now, I was all in on Juju last year before the season started. All in on him. Here's the issue. It's easy to blame the fact that they had a bad quarterback how many great receivers have played with shitty quarterbacks? Because I remember Deshaun Hopkins and uh, uh, yeah, Hopkins um, at at the Texans before Watson got there. Oh yeah. And it was, 
It was a train wreck for a long time, and he was still one of, if not the best, receiver in the game. Okay, we have seen many. Larry Fitzgerald was elite after Carson Palmer left, and it was just nightmare after nightmare after nightmare of dudes that nobody remembers. Okay, you can be a great receiver with a shit quarterback. I've seen it happen a lot, actually. The problem is, is the fact that Juju just couldn't find a way to get open. They couldn't, they couldn't get him the ball. Some of that's on the quarterbacks. Yes, he's going to regress some. He shouldn't have fell into nothing. All right. Yeah. He regressed. You're right. Worthless. You that, are. That, those are red flags that, that actually scare me. I think Connor's the most important player in this offense, not Ben and not Juju. Yep. And, and we're, we're asking a guy that, that has had injury problems in the past to stay healthy in a game in which the whole thing rides on him. Uh, Joseph Gomez, one. by the way, jumped in and said, Connor, in a contract year, I would expect a good year. I would hope so, but the problem is, is can he stay on the field? Because yeah. I'm going to tell you this, you don't think all those defenses know stop Connor, you win the game? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that's a big part. I, I'll say because this. they a big... got film on Big Ben, and we're not talking about four years ago Big Ben. We're talking about last year and the year before Big Ben. Before he got hurt, he was not good. The, uh, the year before that, he wasn't great. The tight end that they brought in, Eric Ebron? I think he's uh, I think he's going to be a pretty good signing for him. Um, Mark said Ben got Claypool. Claypool should help. And uh, and I didn't go through this. Their win total, by the way, nine and a half to go over nine uh, is plus one ten. To go under is minus one forty. So they expect nine and seven as opposed to ten and six. And to win the division, Bet Online has got them at plus three fifty. Uh, DFS Bachelor jumps in. He said Steelers plus three forty to win the division is the best value on the board in terms of futures. Uh, and he said the crap that my – I'll said, take that bet. I'll take any number you want. Just I'll send you my Venmo when we're done. He said the crap my dog took this morning is better than Duck Hodges and Randolph. <laughs> okay. That's that's fine. I'll take I'll take all Steeler over actions you want to give me. Because yeah. I just don't – I don't I, – I, I think Vegas is telling you. They're, they're ter- they want people to take that over. They want – please bet 10 games. I mean, maybe so. Maybe so. Uh, he also because jumps in. they're giving in. you positive odds for taking the over, and they're giving you big negative odds for taking the under. Yeah. Uh, Deontay Johnson was very solid. Connor Snell Jr. and the kid from Maryland make this running game a lot better. Um, <laughs> DFS, DFS said, I love it. I love it. All of them. <laughs> All right. Let's dive into the NFC. 